Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to my studio which is known as The Basement Dino Dungeon Okay, so today we actually have a new figure to add into our reptiles collection It is a tortoise right here, I think I have no idea what species this is So we're gonna find out together and you can see on the floor right here It's basically my entire collection of the reptiles I would say majority of them We are going to like pack all of them into like two boxes so i need the help of you guys to do this together at the end of the video i'm gonna show you guys you know this little new cabinet right here so i want suggestions on what we should actually put into this shelf okay very excited about that so let's head back to our collection and let's sort all of them together let's go guys Alright guys, so let's have a look at this new turtle Or oh, is this like a tortoise? Let's have a look I think this is a desert tortoise Not exactly sure but I think so It looks like a giant tortoise or It should be a giant tortoise Okay, I mean you guys can let me know in the command section below Okay, so let's put all the turtles All the tortoise into one box, okay? So let's try to find more tortoises and turtles I think there's another one right here So let's have a look This one, I feel it's more like a desert tortoise Let's have a look I think there should be a name below Yes, it is a desert tortoise so you can see It's quite different Because the giant tortoise actually has like a larger and a taller shell Okay Alright, let's pick up another turtle Here's another one This is probably the exact same figure We have two of them Exactly the same Okay, let's pick this one up Yeah, this one seems to be a giant tortoise as well Yes, I think so Very nice Here's another one just to do a um, This is a Pintar Island tortoise With a much longer neck So, so far we have 5 turtles Here's another one This one seems to be a giant tortoise, let's see Yep, that's right, giant tortoise so I think the very first one that we had, it's probably a giant tortoise as well Okay, but I welcome your correction So if, if you guys think I've made a mistake, please let me know, okay So let's move on and take a look at our other reptiles in our collection So what do we have right here? Komodo dragon, really love Komodo dragons They can be found in like Indonesia And, I've, and I know that they have like a poisonous bite yeah, I think so. Or is it Venomous? Okay, so that's our very first Komodo Dragon figure. It's actually from like Safari LTD. Quite a nice one. I love it. Um, we are going to decide like how we are going to split up. I think maybe all the snakes can go together with the turtles. I don't think we have that many turtles. So um, a black coit snake. I think many of you guys have told me what is the name of this snake, but I can't remember. So. If you guys can like, you know, let me know Again, we have two similar ones So I'm gonna put it right here Okay, this one, it's a Horned Lizard That's right, a 2010 figure You can see it has like plenty of spikes Around the head and the body So this one, let's place it right here Let's see what else we've got Let's find a um, another one What is this? Another Lizard An Iguana You can see it has like a huge What do you call this? Huge skin Iguana right here And I think they are they have the ability to actually change their color Which is awesome Okay, here we have another Crocodile And this is actually known as a um, Wow <laughs> I suddenly Forgot about this I know it's a, it's a kind of um, I think it's a Genghis um, It's a kind of um, Crocodile from India I can't remember, suddenly forgot about the name Yeah, um, I'm just gonna put this aside first Maybe I can recall it later on Okay, let's take a look at another snake We have an albino python Albino Burmese python A 2019 figure, really nice little figure And here is a bearded dragon guys A bearded dragon, it basically gets its name from You know, this very spiky appearance Thorny um, bearded dragon 2012 
So I'm gonna put this close to the iguana. This one, um, it's different. It's not the horn lizard. I think this is a thorny devil. I think so. Okay, let's see what else we've got. This one, it's this one is the thorny dragon. So this one is probably the haunt lizard as well. But they do look kind of like similar, to be honest. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one here. What is this? This seemed to be a bearded dragon, a mini bearded dragon. I think so. Very nice. Okay, and um, oh, I suddenly remember it is an Indian Garrier. Yes, Indian Garrier. I know the name. I would definitely remember it. Like, you know, just give me some time. Okay, so we have a white alligator right here. Okay, it is actually not an albino, it's an, um, a leucistic alligator. Yeah, it's not albino. Okay. And here we have a chameleon, a veiled chameleon. All right. So I'm gonna put this one close to the um, iguana. Let's try to find whether there are like more turtles. I'm pretty sure there are like more turtles. Hmm. Okay, but let's take a look at another snake. This one is a black-headed snake. I've no idea like you know what is the exact species. Um. Yeah. Let's try to take a look at more snakes. What is this? Wow. This it's a boa constrictor. They have amazing strength. It can actually like you know capture its prey, strangle them to um, death, suffocate them. Yeah, they are very very strong. Okay, here is another. If I'm not wrong, this is also a constrictor. Amazon tree boa. Yeah, very nice. It, it looks very real as well. So if you dislike snakes you might be a little bit freaked out by this figures this it's a veiled chameleon the previous one was more like a juvenile version you can see the colors is really amazing and it has a very long and sticky tongue yeah it's very like sticky it's able to capture its prey very very easily okay make a guess is this an alligator or a crocodile i mean if you take a look at a snout it is very very narrow, very triangular, so it should be a crocodile. Yep. Crocodile. Nice. I'm gonna put the crocodiles right over there. Okay, let's see what else we've got. This one um seemed to be more of an alligator. Because it's not I mean it could be a crocodile. Yeah, I think it's a crocodile. It's kind of like narrow as well. But some of them is like not super accurate. So if this one is definitely a crocodile. You can see it's very, very narrow, very triangular. But that one was like, you know, you, you never know. Maybe the um, figure is not like accurate enough. Let's see what else we've got. Here we have a corn snake, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, very small little corn snake. Very beautiful colors, I would say. I'll put this one right here. Okay. I'm trying to see whether we are able to put some of these figures over here because the snake box seems to be quite empty. But here we have another um, snake right here, slithering snake. I know the figure of this is known as... Yeah, it's still, it's still working, it's still working. Okay, this is a rough tree green snake. Okay, put this one right here. Okay, maybe we can put one of these big figures. This is actually a fruit neck lizard, okay? Um, it's like able to run. Oh my goodness. Don't don't tell me the batteries has already ran out. Okay, there you go. Yeah. It's like able to walk on the floor. Pretty cute little figure. Very, very adorable. Okay, so I'm gonna switch this off. And I'm gonna place this one right here because I feel we have lots of space right here. So what is this? This is a brown snake. You can see it also has a tag right here that says brown snake. And um, it is a kind of snake that can be found in Australia. Yep, these are basically like animals of Australia. Very nice. Cobra. Okay, this is uh, one of the most easily recognizable snakes. Very famous snake. 
Cobra. There is another one right here. We do have a couple of Cobra figures. This is a smaller one. This one, I think it should be a crocodile. It's a PNSO figure. So into the box. Oh, what is this? Um, yeah, it's known as a chameleon, but I'm not too sure whether that is like the um exact name. I mean, it feels like a horned chameleon. This is an alligator. You can see the snot is not very narrow. It's not very triangular. It is like, you know, wider over here. And uh, American alligator, they can actually walk like, you know, with very long legs. They look very scary. They look like actual dinosaurs, I feel. Okay, this one is 100% an alligator. It's very, very rectangular, you can see from um, the snot. It's an alligator. And if you compare it with the um, crocodile, you can see huge difference. The snot is like more rectangular for the alligator. The crocodile is like more triangular. And they have, but both of them have like great camouflaging abilities. When they are in like, you know, the murky water, you basically can't really see them. And they will just pounce at you. Very, very scary. This is a collared lizard, okay? Call it Lizard 2017 figure. You can see it has like plenty of um, different colors and patterns. Really pretty looking lizard, I would say. Here is another snake. What is this? It's a Sidewinder Rattlesnake. Okay, 2008 figure. Sidewinder Rattlesnake. And um, this is a Coral Snake. Yeah, Cora Snick and it's a baby. Nice one. Oh, here's another Cobra. This figure is cool because you can actually like tilt it up. You can pose it because there's like a wire inside. Yeah, so some some Cobra, some species of Cobras, they can speed Venom up to 8 feet away. Here's another Komodo Dragon. I love Komodo Dragons. I, I feel they look so, so cool. But of course, they are... They can be pretty deadly. Here's another one. This is one of our latest um, Komodo Dragons figures, 1997. Yeah, it always a, it's quite an old figure, but we just got it like pretty recently. Right here, we have two fruit neck lizard, and they look like the dinosaurs, Dino Dilophosaurus from Jurassic Park. So they basically got their inspiration from the fruit neck lizard. Very nice. Okay. Gonna put them um, inside. Okay, I think we are just left with um, a couple more figures. So let's see, what type of snake is this? Are you guys able to recognize it? it? It's very difficult for me because it doesn't have a name and it's not like super accurate looking. No idea. Here we have a bearded dragon. Yep. A small little bearded dragon from Schleich. Quite a nice one. So into the box. This one seemed to be an anaconda as well. Let's have a look. Oh yes, it's a green anaconda. Very long, very strong and powerful snake that can actually swallow a lot of animals. This is a Nile crocodile. Okay. One of the... um. Animals with the largest bite frost, if I'm not wrong, saltwater crocodile is the one that has the largest bite frost of the um, animal kingdom. Here it's uh, another. It's a white crocodile. Yep, yeah, I think so. Because the, the snot is like really, really narrow. Okay, let's see what else we've got. This is a caiman. A very small sized, a very small species of crocodiles. Really, really tiny ones. They are about, they can be as small as like a meter long. And our last figure of the day is actually an alligator and it's known as Brony the Alligator. It is like a safari LTD mascot. So, yep. So these two boxes are basically my reptiles collection. I love reptiles and I definitely hope to expand my reptiles collection, okay? Thanks for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.